At the top of this two-story building is a penthouse apartment unlike anything else in New York. Oh, it's big. It's massive. This is three floors. Three floors. With views. Oh my goodness. Empire State Building. See, so three bathrooms, three bedrooms. Every bedroom gets their own bathroom. Is this a bedroom or a closet? And it had to be a bedroom, but I've seen it used as an office. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you get sunrise and sunset. Sunrise and sunset. Fourth of July fireworks when you have them on this side. I think the real fireworks are the AstroTurf because you don't have to cut it and it doesn't <laughs> grow. And we're here to find out why it's so well priced, what makes it so special, and if you should live here instead of, um, instead of being a rebel on this Indian motorcycle, which probably wakes up the entire neighborhood when it starts. Tough decision, but what you might not know is that we're in one of the coolest neighborhoods ever, Long Island City. Awesome neighborhood. Got a little bit of everything here, like this place. I'm guessing it's chicken, but I am just here for the Japanese food, like the life-changing karage fried chicken. The apartment's a block and a half that way, but this is where all the fun is. Like blend. It's not a juice bar. It's some sort of fusion place. Then there's Woodbines. They have ceiling fans in their outdoor dining. I would describe this as one of the few remaining neighborhoods in New York that still has like a lot of charm and soul to it. And I think that's because the buildings are really small and literally everything here serves food. And if there is a gym around here, I haven't seen it yet. Look at this little hobbit house business right here. Got some strange looking figurines. Hipsterish vase. Chairman Sun. Verizon. Corcoran. Ramen. I heard a rumor that if you want to be next to another business, the names of your businesses have to rhyme in this town. Casa Lola. Oh, this place looks fun. And then there's this tree, which is in a park. They've got the defensive architecture to keep the skateboarders and the bikers and the rollerbladers off this thing. But those skateboarders, man, they are persistent. Look, they figured out that little ledge right there was gonna work for whatever they do. And you know, this park might end up being your gym. It's actually kind of cool. Look, they got basketball and stuff over here. No one's here today. Got the whole court to yourself. And you know, this might be one of my personal favorite neighborhoods in the city. Just because of what I already said, it feels quaint. I don't really know why. We are just north of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, which doesn't really feel quaint anymore, but this kind of still does. Now, since we're also near Astoria, Queens, you'll find a few Greek places. And because it's near Astoria, there's also a Dunkin' Donuts for all the Astoria people. But there are a few really good cafes right over here by the train. Like this juice bagel place right here. Fantastic. And if you're wondering, the local train here is the 7. It'll get you to Manhattan in like one or two stops. It's like 10 minutes. It's really good. This. Isn't it cool? It's like a small building, but we're seeing a penthouse, which is really interesting. Got your nice little steps that wind up into your miniature tower. And from the sidewalk, you can see the top of the Empire State Building. Tell me about this apartment. I'm super excited because of just how cool the building looks. Well, you're only gonna find townhouses here. Full three floor triplex townhouses in Long Island City. You're looking at close to 2,000 square feet. Is it free? It's not free. Ah! A penthouse on the second floor. Oh, it's big. So, um, Rachel, how much is this massive place? A million dollar view for $89.95. That sounds like a deal when you put it that way. A very good deal. But it's what, a four bedroom apartment? It's a three bedroom a apartment. A three bedroom. But you do have that sky loft, so you can easily make it an office. Mm. But what's great is it's a luxury apartment, and it's like eight times as big as any luxury apartment for the same price. Are we in another dimension? We are. This is awesome. I didn't even know that they built buildings like this. Look at this, there's like a greenway. You've got the backs of the townhouses. Oh yeah. We had a nice little event here yesterday, but if you wanna do a picnic. If I wanna ride in the yellow car. Exactly. I this like how everything's lined up perfectly. <laughs> you have private outdoor spaces, so you have the patio. Some people wanna be private, some people don't. This is cool. It's like having a park in your actual building and the only strangers you have to deal with are your immediate neighbors. That's not too bad. Whoever lives over here, this is great. Oh, there's a gym. 
Sweet. Lots of weights, looks like a good size. There's people in here, so we can't stay too long, but it's a good gym. Do you have to pay for the gym or the courtyard? Nope, the gym and the courtyard are free. So, Rachel, this is the living room and the kitchen. Yes. Right? How many square feet is the whole apartment? The entire apartment is just at 1,800 square feet. Wow. These windows overlook the courtyard. And I like how the kitchen looks like it has just about everything, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. You have your breakfast bar. You can set up your bar stools perfectly, but also have a dining room table. This is like a big workable counter. Water pressure is solid. That's a garbage disposal? Garbage disposal. I'll stick my fingers in there. No, no, no. <laughs> Dishwasher. We have a massive oven, which has a secret feature. Oh, I have to pull it out? No. Oh, there we go. It's not the vent that I'm talking about. It's the fifth burner. I think those are illegal in Manhattan because in Manhattan, everything has four or three burners. But look at that. There it is. Fridge, nice and big. And you know you've made it in New York when your drawer is wide enough that you can have different things in it in little drawer dividers. Most apartments, the drawer is the divider. Is this a hidden storage? What is this? This is what you find in homes nice. in the suburbs. A is pantry. It a pantry, huh? This is gonna be a great room to entertain guests because you kind of have like kitchen and living all in one. And then are the bedrooms at the other wing of the apartment? Is that kind of how it's set up? Yeah, you have a bedroom on this floor and notice you have a bathroom to go with every single bedroom. Oh, you do? Really, so how many bathrooms here? So you have three bathrooms, three bedrooms, every bedroom gets their own bathroom. Now, this view is actually south, and I love how a view on a second floor apartment, you can really just see so much of the neighborhood, which is cool. You've got storage space over here. You get yourself a really nice closet. So every room you can self-control the thermostat, even from your phone if you want to. Oh, nice. So if your roommate wants it to be super warm, you can fight back with your own. <laughs> What's in this drawer uh, thing right here? What do we got here? So this is your massive. Ooh. So big enough to fit your blanket. Wow. I could fit my entire life in here and it's uh, vented. Look at that. It's a good point. Many washers, you can't fit your blankets. You have to take those to the cleaners. A Sweet. big Ooh. closet. Walk in. And here we have the bathroom on this floor. It's a good looking stand up shower. Gotta love that. They didn't forget the soap shelf. And at first it looks like there's no medicine cabinet, but over here, 90 degrees to the right. Look at that. Let's go to Walgreens, hit them up. The sink in here, this also has a lot of counter space around it. It's really big. This is great. So this is almost exactly like the bedroom that's beneath it. Same size. View turns out to be a little bit better because we're a little bit higher up. But if you're sharing with multiple people, nobody has to worry that, oh, I want to pay less rent or more rent because my room is different. This is good for sharing. It is. It's to do whatever you want. Oh my goodness. It's a bedroom or a closet. And then I'm going to be a bedroom, but I've seen it used as an office. Really? <laughs> yeah. It makes a great office. It really does. Or a great closet. Great closet. Every apartment should have that. Is our bathroom down here the same as, oh, we got a tub. If you're in a rush, downstairs, it's closer to the ground and you have a shower, but everything else in here is the same. You got calling in between floors? Oh, why can't you just text your roommate and be passive aggressive <laughs> that way? <laughs> Shelves, drawers, hangers everywhere. Rachel, would you say this is the primary suite? Absolutely. And you can fit any size bed you want in here. King size bed and a lot more. Here we've got that super quiet courtyard view. That's gonna be clutch. And I like how it comes with shades. You don't have to like go to Home Depot and try to figure out how to install these on your own. They thought of everything. Now that those are up, look at that. We can see the city across the way. That's great. And as with all primary suites, there's just excessive storage. Look at that. This would have been good enough for me. <laughs> also, I like that we have this long hallway. Like, look at this. It just has an epic feeling to it. You could have like other things in this, I don't know, pictures. You don't have to walk right in, that's for sure. And the bathroom in here is twice as good as all the other bathrooms because with the two sinks and the two medicine cabinets, it's not gonna be any fighting in the morning. The storage in here is really good. We've got cubbies, we've got drawers, it's very nice. 
standing shower here as well. And look at this, we have an actual linen closet in the bathroom. Most New York bathrooms, your linen closet is your medicine cabinet. And it's not a small room. I could probably live in the bathroom at this place. Let me check with Rachel and see if that's possible. Oh, and before we leave, are these heated floors? Is that what that I is? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> All right, well. It looks like it could be an everything room. I've seen it be an office with a desk facing the views and the sky. I've seen it be a gym with a workout mirror. This is a workout mirror? It is. Oh, so it'll tell you how to change your life. It will. I like how there's this separate kitchen up here. I guess if you were having guests or it was like a party room, you wouldn't have to go downstairs to get anything. Exactly. It's like very That's convenient. Very uh, if you had a fourth roommate who was hungry all the time, wanted all the outdoor space, this, they could put a mattress here or something. I've seen it done. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> this roof deck, I mean, this is just such a heavy hitting feature. I don't think I've ever seen a roof deck this big yeah. in a place that was for rent. This might be the first one. How many square feet is the roof deck? Probably about 400 square feet. At 400 square feet, this is bigger than most people's apartments. And if you're looking for inspiration, the neighbors have like an outdoor smoker, which looks pretty cool. I see a Peloton and their little gym up there. So that is what you could do. Is that a cooler full of adult beverages or is it something else? Could be a plunge. Oh, <laughs> I guess a cold plunge is for people that want to torture themselves and think that they're making their lives better. Um, they're not. Oh, look at that. We have outdoor water access. You can also see the rest of Long Island City over here. That's pretty cool. If you want to live here, reach out to our gracious host, Rachel. Her contact info is on the screen and in the video description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.